this video, we explore three important things. First, why we need fractions. Second, what fractions are, with examples where the whole is one. And third, we'll do three levels of practice, easy, medium, and hard. It's a pizza story. Imagine this, someone asks. How much pizza would you like to eat? I'm not very hungry, just give me a small piece. A small piece? What size are you thinking? About this size. But wait, how do I describe it? That's exactly why we need fractions. We use fractions to describe pieces that are smaller than one whole. So if we don't eat the whole pizza, but only a part of it, fractions help us say exactly how much. So what are fractions? Fractions show us a whole that is divided into equal parts. And here the most important rule, the parts must be all equal, otherwise it's not a proper fraction. Let's learn the parts of a fraction. A fraction has two numbers with a line between them. The line is the fraction line. The bottom number is called the denominator. It tells us how many parts the whole is divided into. In this case, the whole pizza is divided into eight equal parts. The top number is called the numerator. It tells us how many parts we have. Here, we have one part of a pizza. We can call these fractions 1 over 8 or 1 eighth. Let's see some more. How much of the shape is shaped at orange? The orange part is smaller than the whole, so we can use a fraction to show it. First, we draw a fraction line. The bottom number, called the denominator, tells us how many equal parts the shape is divided into. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. The shape is divided into 4 equal parts, so we write 4 at the bottom. Next, we write the top number, called the numerator, which tells us how many parts are orange. Here, two parts are shaped at orange, so we write 2 on top. So, 2 over 4, 2 fourths, or 2 quarters of the shape is orange. Here's another example. How much of the shape is shaped at orange now? First, we draw a fractions line. The bottom number, called the denominator, tells us how many equal parts the shape is divided into. The shape is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 equal parts, so we write 4 at the bottom. Next, we write the top number, called the numerator, which tells us how many parts are orange. 1, 2, 3, 4. All four parts are shaded in orange, so we write 4 on top. When the numerator and denominator are the same, the fractions equal one whole. So 4 over 4, or 4 fourths, or one whole of the shape is orange. Now we know that when the two numbers in a fraction, the numerator and the denominator are the same, it equals one whole. For example, 2 over 2, 4 quarters, and 8 eighths, they all make one whole. Isn't that amazing? Now let's practice with level 1, easy questions. If you want extra practice on paper, I've made a two-page worksheet with answers. It has three levels, level 1, easy, level 2, medium, level 3, hard. I will show you some examples from the worksheets in this video. The link is in the description, so you can download it or pause the video anytime to try the questions. Question 1. What fractions of the shape is shaded? Here are the steps to write the fractions. Most importantly, check if all the parts are equal. In this shape, the two parts are equal. Step 1. Draw a fractions line. Step 2. Write the denominator, the bottom number. The shape is divided into 1, 2, 2 equal parts. So we write 2 at the bottom. Step 3. Write the numerator, the top number. One part is shaded. 
so we write one on top. So the fractions is one over two, or one half of the shape is shaded. Question two: What fractions of the shape is shaded? Let's follow the steps to write a fraction. Check if all the parts are equal. In this shape, the five parts are equal. Step one: Draw a fraction line. Step two: Write the denominator, the bottom number. The shape is divided into. One, two, three, four, five. Five equal parts. So we write five at the bottom. Step three: write the numerator, the top number. Two parts are shaded, so we write two on top. So the fractions is two over five, or two fifths of the shape is shaded. Level two: medium questions. If this video is helping you, please hit subscribe. Your support means a lot and helps me make more fun math videos for you. Question three: Look at the shape. If the shaded area is one half, put a tick in the box. If it is not one half, put a cross. Let's look at the denominator, which is two. The shape is divided into two parts. Are all the parts equal? Yes. The numerator is one. And one part is shaded, so the shaded part is one half of the shape. Question four: If the shaded part is half of the shape, put a tick in the box. If not, put a cross. Look at the denominator, which is two. The shape is divided into two parts. Are all the parts equal? Hmm. One is small and one is big. So no. So the shaped part is not one half of the shape. Let's try level three. Hard question. Question five: What fractions of the shape is shaded? First, check if all the parts are equal. Oh, two parts are small and one is big. They are not equal. Let's draw an extra line. Now all the parts are equal. And we can use the fractions to show the shape the part of a shape. Let's follow the steps to write a fraction. First, draw a fraction line. Next, write the denominator, the bottom number. The shape is divided into four parts, so we write four at the bottom. Then, write the numerator, the top number. One part is shaded, so we write one on top. Finally. The shaded part is one quarter of the shape. Question six. This one is tricky, but you can do it. Pause the video to think for a moment. First, check if all the parts are equal. Hmm. Two parts are small and three are big. They are not equal. Let's draw an extra line to make all the parts equal. Now, draw a fraction line. Write the denominator, the bottom number. The shape is divided into eight parts, so we write eight at the bottom. And the numerator, the top number. One part is shaped, so we write one on top. Finally, the shaped part is one eighth of the shape. Today's review. Fractions show pieces smaller than one whole. Always make sure the parts are equal. Our fractions have three key parts: fraction line, the line that separates the top and bottom numbers. The bottom number denominator shows how many equal parts the whole is divided into. The top number numerator shows how many parts we have. Here's a tip: If the numerator and denominator are the same, it's one whole. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.